Hi there. Today I have something that I ordered from Lee Valley here in Canada. It took a while to get in. Um, it's called the Grand Force Hand Hatchet. It's quite, quite short. Let's get it out of this sheath here. Sheath is really well made. Uh, probably the same uh, uh, sheath that Wetterlings has made too. I mean, they have the same one. This one has a nice little snap on it. Uh, there it is. Here is this little tiny hatchet. Uh, I really like this and I know where it's going to go. It's going to go everywhere with me. It's only about nine and three eighths inches long. Okay. The width here is spot on three inches. The length here is five and three sixteenths. And I guess the depth when we're looking at this is in around one inches exactly. So let's get started on this little guy. It is really, really nice. It's 1.3 pounds or 0 0.6 kilograms. I've already gone over um, the length, the vegetable tan sheath. This is an excellent axe for throwing in your pack. Uh, it's uber carryable. It, everything adds up, but this is totally acceptable. If you had enough time, which you usually do when you're out in the bush sometimes in an emergency situation, you could easily, you know, cut down trees with this thing. You just need a little bit of time and patience. I like it. This is, I guess we could say, we always have Grand Force Brooks um, compared to Wetterlings because they're so similar. I have to say that because I own now Wetterlings and Grand Force Brooks, the head on the Grand Force Brooks is, there's a better finish to it in that it's usually straighter. When you look here this way, they've taken um, a, you know, a sander and they've taken all the rough edges off of it. So the finishing on it is a little bit better. I love the accountability. We have MM on here. We know the initials of the person, he or she, um, that forged this. So if this was to ever come back to Grand Force Brooks, um, you know, we get to ask, you know, not me, but we as consumers can ask the, uh, you know, the maker of that, the, the person that crafted it and forged it. Overall, you can really choke up here so you can carve with it, this little hand hatchet. It came to me hair glinting sharp, meaning that I was able to just peel the hair off my arm and create bald patches that my wife would look at. <laughs> it looks a little bit strange, but um, I like it. You can see here the grain is running basically top to bottom and then it's parallel with the edge, the cutting edge. And I'm really looking forward to having this. This is a really, really nice axe to take with you or have under the seat of your truck um, in an emergency situation where you got to like you could hack through a door with this. These axes will cut through an automotive skin very easily or break a windshield to get in and help somebody. So a really great safety device. What I don't like about this, and it's the only time I've ever had an axe that I've bought that I really have an issue with it, is this handle. The handle is great, it's well formed, but it almost looks like the day that this was cut out, the machine was dull. The cutting head on here, I've got all these little these little uh, divots or these little pock marks in here and you know really smooth here and then just divoted and gnarled up and stuff like that so that's my only complaint it's only on one side here's the way it's supposed to look and then when you flip it over it's just it looks like it had a had a rough day now could be due to the different density of the uh, the wood or, or something but in my opinion, this shouldn't have been released for sale. Grand Force Brooks dropped the, the ball here. They shouldn't have released it because all their stuff is very, very nice. So quality control, no. Aesthetically, it doesn't look good. Now, practically, is it going to work well and is it going to be strong? Yeah, I bet it will be. But that's just my only thing. When I do these reviews, I try and be, you know, cold-hearted about it. It's either good or it's not, right? So thanks for watching my video. And buy one of these if you want to stick it under your, uh, your seat. Bye-bye.